This abandoned battlefield farmhouse along East Cemetery Hill, also known as Hospital Row, sits right along the National Park battlefield. This farmhouse, like many others during the battle, was commandeered and used as a makeshift hospital. Countless men took their last breath in this very house. Right now we're high above the battlefield here in Gettysburg. I can show you off in the distance right there. That is the small Pennsylvania town, which was uh, basically ground zero for one of the uh, bloodiest fights here in the Civil War. Around here is actually the battlefields where tens of thousands of Union and Confederate soldiers unfortunately lost their lives. What we're doing here is documenting you know, a lot of stories about the individuals that took part in the Civil War, but also we're looking into the reports of uh, paranormal activity happening here on the battlefield, but also a lot of the homes and businesses that are around in this small Pennsylvania town. Um, we do have folks that lived and died here in the home. We have soldiers that were, you know, passed away here and around the home. We have a mass burial area over here on the left-hand side. Of the first, it was a 3.1 when we were down in the kitchen at first. Right. I came up the steps, the top of the steps, I hit a 3.7 and stopped. But then just earlier was a 5.7. All right, so we're trying to see if we see anything out here. We've had, had a few unusual sounds, like somebody kind of hitting up here on this metal fence. Uh, I had a fully charged battery just two to three minutes ago. You can probably see it's already down to red. It's, it's about ready to die. I mean, literally, I just put this on like three minutes ago. Who is here with me? What is your name? Hi. Walter. Walter? Is this Walter we're talking to? Walter. So he keeps saying Walter. He says that he said that like, so like the third time or something like that. After hearing stories of the paranormal in Gettysburg over the past 20 years, the Unexplained Cases team packed up our gear and headed for Pennsylvania. We teamed up with the Gettysburg Paranormal Association, Gettysburg Ghost Tours, to investigate near Culp's Hill. Dan Kulik explains why this location is historical and haunted. We call this the Battlefield Farmhouse. It was built right along the side of Culp's Hill over here on my left hand side. Culp's Hill is one of the bloodiest battlegrounds here in Gettysburg during the July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of 1863. Due to the fact that saw battles all three days, but as well as day and night. Those guys couldn't even see their hands in front of their face, and now all of a sudden they're fighting over here on the hillside, and something kept shooting at them, so they kept shooting it back. Historians say the battle for Culp's Hill was important because Union soldiers had to dig in, fight to keep to protect their main supply line from Confederate forces. The battle was intense and very bloody. Both sides suffered mass casualties. The house behind us here was used as a field hospital, a Union field hospital during that time. They're bringing the guys back off the hill over here to the house, stacking up arms, legs, like cordwood all the way here to the second story windows. Not out of disrespect, but out of haste to try to save as many lives as possible. Basically, we're going to go in the back and we're going to investigate because the battlefield is right behind us. We're going to take our night shot cameras out there and we're going to power up and see it's completely dark out there, so it's very spooky. And whatever's out here, Apparently it's trying to draw uh, the energy from the battery maybe to, to manifest. It's, it's very creepy out here. This is uh, Culp Hill where the battle was. Um, so was the spirit from the Battle of Culp's Hill really trying to reach out to us? Unfortunately, the evidence was inconclusive. So inside we went to find out who or what is haunting the farmhouse. We got some help from amateur ghost hunters Brian and Jen Miller. That's the first time I've heard it say no. Early on in the investigation, during an ovulus session, we connected with a possible Civil War spirit. The device uses a word bank that spirits can use to communicate with the living. Walter? Is this Walter we're talking to? Walter. Walter. So he keeps saying Walter. He says that he said that like, so like the third time or something like that. 
We also caught this strange light anomaly while connecting with who we believe to be Walter. We compared it to dust that we captured on video and determined this object was not the same. So, could Walter have been a Civil War soldier who was killed on Culp's Hill or died here in what was the Union Field Hospital? It is certainly possible. To look for more paranormal evidence, we went upstairs to a spooky and creepy part of the home. We used those dolls, also a ball, as trigger objects to get the children who supposedly haunt this part of the farmhouse to come out and show themselves. Apparently, they didn't want to play. But according to Dan, the other spirits who haunt this home can get a little touchy-feely. A couple of the cool things that have happened for me is standing in the back hallway back here downstairs. And um, I was walking up this direction, something tapped me on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. I turned around and I said, do you guys have any questions? And there was no one there. And I took another step and I got another tap on the shoulder and hurry up and there's no one there. Unfortunately, Dan's buddy decided to not reach out and touch someone on this evening, but all hope it was not lost. We still had many parts of the downstairs that needed to be investigated. If we couldn't see them, we hoped to hear from them instead during an EVP session. The goal was to capture an electronic voice phenomenon, essentially a disembodied voice using our digital audio recorder. Hmm. Different feeling in this room. Very heavy. Were you in the Civil War? Were you ever in the hospital here? We keep hearing Walter. Walter, are you here in this house with us? Are you angry that we're here in the house? Sadly, Walter or whoever it was didn't say a peep. In fact, upon reviewing the evidence, it was dead quiet. However, our ghost hunting crew was pretty happy with the results. I thought it was really great. We got some good stuff when we first got in here. Um, it got quiet after that. He had a few spikes on the meter you had. Yes, it went up to the same temperature, 50 some degrees. It's kind of cold in here. Uh, a spike of 3.1 and it was at, at one point it was 5.7 upstairs. We were hearing Walter, Mike, we kept hearing highway. Highway, um, um, yeah. Things, uh, at one point, I think we asked him how old he was. I think he said he was 40. Many lives were lost in the fight for Culp's Hill. It was a turning point for Union forces in the Battle of Gettysburg, a sounding defeat for the Confederacy. Now, nearly 160 years later, some of the spirits of the men who lost their lives in this area remain in the farmhouse, connecting with the living, letting them know they haven't left Gettysburg just yet. For Unexplained Cases, I'm Darren Dito.